Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy D Wayne bring you yet another YouTube video at this time. So basically what you guys got in front of you today is my um Shinui deck list. Now this is the um deck I was playing in my most recent replay vids when I was um basically showcasing the uh Homorigami Shirinui. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Basically I summoned him in every duel. He was definitely putting in some real work in those replays. So yeah, so let's um, just go briefly into the deck list, and I'm going to bring you guys some live duels. I know you guys haven't seen me do those in a while, so yeah, I'm going to be bringing you guys some more of that, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so let's go into the deck list. Alright, so basically some texts. I run the um, Ill Blood. I, you know, I was, you know, trying them out, testing them and stuff like that. Because he's so easy to special summon in this deck. Basically, you can summon him through Mizuki's effect while you have him in Grave. Or you can also special summon him from your hand when you have your Call of the Mummy on board. So his effect is, when he's, he's a Gemini, when he's second summoned, you can special summon a zombie monster from your hand or your graveyard. So, once again, like Mizuki, you, it doesn't matter what level of zombie, you can summon any level of zombie from your hand or your graveyard. So... So yeah, I was basically playing around with that because essentially him plus Yunazabi can get you a Homorigami Shirinui if you play it right. So yeah, so there's also a three card combo that I've that I was showing you guys in my replays that will definitely set you up for a Homorigami Shirinui with two synchros to use to feel his first effect. So let me explain that combo. So basically all you need is a um, Spectral Sword. Sage and a Mizuki and a Graveyard in order to set up this play. So basically first what you're going to do is you're going to use Spectral Soul's effect. Uh, targeting the Sage to use for his effect. Special Summon a level 6 Zombie Synchro. Obviously Sage's effect is going to activate. Special Summon a Spectral back from the Banished Pile. Special Summon. So then you use the Spectral and the level 6 Zombie to Synchro into Shogun Saga. And then you would use Mizuki's effect while he's in the graveyard to special summon the Spectral once again and then synchro the Spectral and the Shogun Saga to make Homorigami Shiranui. So which that will in turn leave you with the Shogun Saga and any of the level 6 uh, zombie synchros in your grave or in your banish depending on where you want them of course. So you can essentially just shuffle those two cards back into the deck and destroy two cards your opponent controls. So yeah, so that was the combo that I was um, using in the videos. If you guys didn't really get an understanding as to how I was summoning Homorigami as much as I was, that was the three-card combo that gave me the card so quickly and so efficiently. So yeah, so you can also summon it through also through Spectral Source Effect once again. You can um, use Spectral Source Effect using on any of the level 4 Shirinui's. Or any level 4 zombies, special summon level 6 zombie. Then you can um, normal summon Unizombie, activate Unizombie's effect, sending a Mizuki to the graveyard or whatever you need at the time. And then you have 4 and 6, which will give you Homorigami with one zombie in the zombie synchro in the grave to use for his first effect. So, yeah, so that was, those were basically the ways in which I was. Uh, summoning in them in the videos So yeah, basically everything else is pretty standard for a Shirinui deck of course the Bushis, the Mizukis, Spirit Masters Beats of the Pharaohs of course and this being a Chaos Zone build of course the Banish Zone becomes an extra hand Got the Gold Sarks here for extra banishing Trap cards, of course. Actually, I'm running more trap cards than usual. I'm usually running about three to six traps. This is I'm actually having ten traps in this time this time around. So this is a slightly trap heavier build. So yes, yeah, so this basically is not really much else to say. It's a pretty standard Shirinui deck, of course. So yeah, so with that said, I'm going to get into some duels. Hopefully, I'll get out Homorigami a few times in those duels to actually get, show you guys how I'm doing it step by step. Alright, so it's time for some duels. I'll be right back, guys. 
Alrighty guys, we are back with the first duel of the video. Let's go. And we lose, of course. Let's see what kind of hand we get. Okay, this isn't too bad at all. I think I could set up a Morigami with this. Let's go ahead and go into the usual shenanigans. Let's go ahead and send Mizuki. Let's go ahead and send Spectral as well. Go ahead and set and pass. Alright, so as you guys can see, I have the Homorogami Serenui effect set up and ready to go. So you guys will actually see me summoning them in real time. Alright, so we're playing probably playing some mermels. Oh no, we're playing some crush rods. Okay. Makes sense to use that in that deck. It makes perfect sense. That was gonna be interesting. One single deck versus another. We had the best single player win. Alrighty, see where he goes from here. He plays the Foolish. I'm glad I let him know that I'm recording. Let's make this good. Alright. Ah, this guy's gonna troll me. <laughs> Don't troll me, bro. Rock and roll. Kill yourself, of course. Should I stop his play there? Yeah, I will stop his play there. Yeah, if I stop this play set up, he may not have much else to go on. We'll see. Yeah, be steady. Yeah, he was hoping for that. Sweet. Alright, let's go ahead and activate Chaos Zone here. Let's go ahead and summon Beast of the Pharaoh. Let's go ahead into a old melee. Let's go ahead and summon Beast of Pharaoh back to the field. Now let's do our Homorigami play, because he's got two cards for me to destroy. Ah, uh, he freaking scoops. I was going to go beast on him. I was really going to wild out on him. Plus I had the freaking burial so I can put stuff back and do more play. So yeah. Alrighty guys, he scoops. I'm going to bring you guys one more duel. I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty guys, we are back with the second duel of the video. Okay, okay, okay. We can do something here. Let's go ahead and summon a Unizombie. <laughs> 
Let's go ahead and send the Mizuki. Let's go ahead and put Beast of the Pharaoh in the grave. Mizuki summons Beast of the Pharaoh. Let's go into Omega to start off. Pharaoh brings himself back. Alright, let's act set the trap card so we have a target for it and we'll pass turn. Pretty standard Shirinui play, of course. Alright, let's see what you got here, opponent. Okay, Pendulum. Metal Foes. Alright. I'm gonna crush his scales. Maybe I'm doing this a bit prematurely, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and just banish the smith, of course, we won't be using it. We may have another set of scales. Oh, he's playing Metaphors Yang Zing. Uh, let's see if we can get, it, get one out of his hand. Okay, do you have two other Yang Zing cards? Damn, yeah, had two of the Yang Zing cards. Uh. This is going to be a bit of an uphill battle here. Well, at least I destroyed this metaphor so that killed a lot of his combo potential. See what he's gonna go into here. He has a level A, so he can go into a box here. Uh, destroy the Swanee, special summon the um Yao Tzu Swanee's effect will activate getting him another Yang Zing monster, so he has he has some combo potential where he can go here. But he goes into BLs instead. Okay. I'm going to be taking some definite good damage here. That was a good move going into BLs. If he went into anything else, I'd have definitely been able to get over it. So. <sighs> okay. So, what can we do from here? Hmm, that BL is definitely a problem. I can actually banish it with Bushi. So I have a Mizuki in Grave. That's what our problem, yeah, that's a good idea. I have to banish it out with Bushi. Let's do that. And go Sark into a Sage and Special Summon. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Let's go into a Shogun Saga, of course. Smith for search. Shogun Saga? No. No need. 
What do I want to search out? I'll search out a sage. Alright, let's see what's in grave. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and banish the smith. Yep, no battle for us. So let's attack in for some damage. Later, Beals. Later, later. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. See? He was relying on that Beals. Didn't think I had an out void, but I most certainly did. Bushi for the win. So, yeah, guys, that is... I'll give you guys one more duel. I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty guys, we are back with the last duel of the video. Let's hope this will be a good one. Alright, and we get to go first. Okay, we have the Humorigami set up here. So let's go ahead and just go right into it. See if this guy will actually let me get it off. Twin Twister on the bottom. Sure. Oh boy, Crystal Wing. Damn. There's the one car Crystal Wing. Here's where my troubles begin. This is not going to be fun for me. Hmm. I think I could probably bait out the crystal, crystal wing effect and then go into my play. We'll see though. Yep, there you are, buddy. Let's see if he plays the baiting game. Oh, it was level 5 a higher monster, so he got the attack boost. That's fine. Alright, so let's go ahead, summon Yuna Zombie. Activate. Let's talk to your monster. Darn, you let it go. Darn, he's really doing it. Um, I was hoping he would have not let me bait out the effect like that. Um, I mean, crap. Let's dump the sage. Let's go ahead and use the Mizuki's effect. Summon sage. Hmm. Well, he ain't, gonna, he ain't gonna have no choice. So let's do this like this. I gotta beat out that first effect so I can get over. So let's do this. When I activate the effect, you have to negate. He 
either that. Oh, that's right. Damn, I totally screwed that up. Crap. Hmm. I completely screwed that up. Did I normal summon? Yes, I did normal summon. I screwed that up. I completely screwed that up. Oh, man. It's gonna be destroyed by card effects, of course. What a smart guy he is. Me not be very smart. Crap. Freak, I'll pass turn for now. It was nothing I could have did there. So I was also thinking I could have sent the Spirit Master and tried to pop it to bait out, but it can't be destroyed by card effects. Damn. I totally screwed up. Yeah, I lost this. It always happens that way. It's always the last duel of the video I put up that I lose to. Yeah, I totally screwed that up. Alrighty guys, that is that. That is most certainly a loss there. <sighs> well, misplays for days, baby. It happens to the best of us, of course. You could be doing good in the first couple of duels, and then you just run into one where you just totally misplay and <laughs> lose the whole duel then. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will leave that at that. So, I'll be bringing you guys more videos in the meantime, but until then, paces, YouTube.